Hi everyone, Sully here from Black Ops Toys, coming at you today with the final build. So basically I'm going to put everything on the figure and I'm going to set him up how I'm going to display him myself. And again, you can do it however you want. Um, you can do it with the helmet on, you can do it with the hat on. I'm going to do the boonie hat, sunglasses combo. And um, definitely get a stand uh, due to the weight of a lot of this gear. Uh, but yeah, so let's get started and I'm going to show you how I'm going to display him on my shelf, okay? So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pop this helmet off. I showed the in the video last week or the week before how to do the fitment on the helmet. But when I display him, I am actually going to use the boonie hat. So I'm just going to pop this off. And what we're going to do is put the NVG kit in this pocket right here. And then I'm going to put this helmet on the backpack like it's supposed to go. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart real quick. There we go. All right. And I'm gonna just put the NVG in here, take out that change. Throw that NVG kit in the pouch. You wanna make sure you don't scratch the lenses because these are super expensive, okay? So make sure that you put the uh, lens covers on. You can see they're rubber banded to each other and you just slip them around. And again, this is so I don't scratch these things because they're, you know, $3,500 or $10,000 each or something like that. Those ones are? Yeah, I mean the real thing. Oh but here, we're just gonna call it, call it that. <laughs> All right, so. Got the head sculpt. I am going to take this plastic off the neck. This is so you don't scratch the neck because it's skin tone. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw these on real quick. There we go. And I'm gonna throw this boonie hat on. I'm gonna go ahead and just tuck this in here. That's how I'm gonna display him with that. So next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull his head back off and we're gonna to start to attach some stuff, okay? So first thing I'm gonna do is attach the vest and I'm using a base stand. This is a saddle style. Saddle style meaning you sit on it like a horse. I've never sat on a saddle style stand before, but I have sat on a horse. Go ahead and do the spread eagle there. And we're gonna come up here with this guy. And you can see there's a Velcro strap right here. Okay. That allows you to kind of elongate it a little bit. And you may have some parts fall off, but I'm gonna go ahead and go like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and throw this arm in. You can see why I took the head off. Yeah, like that. Now we gotta buckle this back. Um, it's hard to look cool doing this this part, but we're gonna give it our best shot. All right. Airplane, I think airplane. And come down here. Buckle. You see under there, I'm just gonna buckle that. That's looking really good. Heck yeah, man. What do you think, mama bear? <laughs> All right, so now I gotta do the belt section, okay? So let's just kind of collapse this a little bit. Velcro that. And then we're gonna come down here and we're gonna attach these two guys, okay? So, where's that belt strap? This guy right here, okay? And this allows you to lengthen it if you need to. We're gonna see if we need it. Um, and you can use tweezers if you wanna hold it. Put that in there. I'm gonna come around here. And hit this side 
And it looks like we want to tighten that up a little bit. You can see I got a lot of room in there. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten this. The way I'm going to do that is just pull on the strap. Pull on the strap. And then I'm going to pull on this strap. And then pull down here. That should tighten it up. Are a little bit loose, but not super, super loose. So I need more, more tightness. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that right here. See what I'm doing? I'm just moving the buckle down. And then what we want to do see how I'm doing that. I'll pull that tighter. Hold this, and I'm going to pull this whole That's kind of what I'm looking for right there. There we go. Um, firm up the side. So you can see I have a lot of strappage here. And what I'm going to do, because this is the final fitment, is I'm going to cut these straps to make some room or to get rid of some of the excess and then I'm going to use a lighter to stick it down. Okay. So I cut these off. There's plastic built into the fabric so you'll see they will start to fray. So oh, that's too much. Don't burn your eyebrows. Okay. If you do it right, and you do it fast enough, you should be able to take that plastic part and actually stick it so the strap doesn't move. Like that. There we go. Now that strap won't move. So that looks good to me. Let's go ahead and check him on the front one more time. All right, he's looking good. Yeah, that looks really good. Take this strobe and throw this back up here. This will probably pop off as I'm doing the backpack fitment, but we're gonna try. that knife down after we do the backpack as well. So, okay, moving on. So now we're going to push this back and not drop it. We're gonna take this backpack, which we've already done some stuff to in a previous video. I'm gonna go ahead and put this helmet right here. Uh, just gonna go ahead and close this, tuck that in. I'm going to actually take off the mount as well. There we go. Let's go and pop that out. You can see it has bungees. So we are just going to stick this guy in here. So 
it's going to look like that when it's all all said and done. Okay. Doesn't have to be perfect. But if you're a cool guy and you want to display something really cool, you could do it like this, or you could do it on one of those stands that actually turns back and forth so you can see every angle of the figure on your display, which would be really neat. Okay. So, let's see. There you go, backpack on. So some of the stuff on the vest we may detach depending on fitment and then put it on the backpack. Let's pull that off. Use the chest strap to secure it real quick. See where it sits, where it rides. So, looks like we want to tighten it up a little bit. So you have these little straps right here that are padding. You want it to sit about there. So the idea is if you get into the shit, you can drop your pack. Come back for it. So I'm going to go underneath the admin pouch with this guy. And you have everything you need on your vest. Okay. Let's see. So we're going to do the waist belt. This should help quite a bit. Right. Tighten that guy up. That's looking really good. Okay, so I'm gonna come down here and we're gonna throw this through this little belt holder down here. Good. So we want to get rid of a lot of this excess strapping. Hide it anyway. Tighten that up. Come around here. We're going to tighten up this side. There we go. Now it's looking much better. Much better fitment. So. So you can do a couple different things with the excess. You can take it and you can tuck it behind because again, this is stuff you don't see. So you'll never see it back there. I'm gonna go ahead and pull down on these straps to tighten up the shoulders. Okay, so you see I have all this excess right here. So I can go ahead and just tuck that behind the chest rib even and you'll never see it. You can see how clean that is now. And then let's go over here and do the same thing on this side. I'm just going to take it, my tweezers, I'm just going to tuck it behind the chest rig. Never see it. That way, if you ever want to take this part and use it on a different figure, you have the excess just in case you have a big figure or whatnot. So that's looking really good. All right. So this thing right here is kind of awkward. So let's see if we can fix that somehow. And tighten that down like that. Okay. 
That's looking darn good. I do need to tuck these guys down here. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna run this up underneath. And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna run this back here. Right, so much better, much cleaner. Uh, that's looking good, looking really good. So, a couple things I have a radio. I have some patches. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some of these patches on. I'm gonna use the box for reference. So whenever you put the flags on, it's always stars forward. If you know why, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. And if you know the difference between the green and the brown, leave that in the comments below too. Let's see how smart you are. So the radio stuff I didn't put on because I'm going to do this last, okay? The reason is I got to tuck all this wire. So. All right. So you got this right here. Okay. Which is going to drop on the radio right here. Okay. And then you have this piece. This is going to go in the ear on the head. And then this piece is go on, going to go on the PTT. And that's this part right here. Okay. Then you have a little gator clasp right here. Okay. So the idea is that you don't want this when you're moving around to get caught. And it's really just like the real thing. You gotta, you really got to tuck it and weave it and, you just don't want excess because you're going to trip it with your hand and break your shit. So. All right. So this is going to go on his, when you're facing, when his face is this way, it's going to go over here on this side. Now this is pliable, so you can bend it and twist it. I'm just gonna tuck the wire. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this. And I'm actually gonna go up here like this. Uh. 
Oh, okay. It doesn't want to stay. So this might be a glue dot scenario. But what I'm trying to do is get this wire pulled down like that, and I'm going to go back up. I'm going to connect this up here. Uh, and this can be frustrating. Just FYI, you can probably hear me breathing hard. You SSMR, SMR, SSMR, ASMR, that stuff. <laughs> Go up here. And I'm actually going to, I think, use the same bungee that I have the knife under. And what I want to do is try to get that alligator clip in there. There we go. Come on. Once so I do that. There we go. I think that's where I want. And take your time with this. Don't don't rush it. Everybody makes mistakes. You just don't want to break something. Let's go ahead. And... That over. That's where I want that. So, that was hard. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a tiny bit of glue dot on there. You can see I don't really use the whole thing. I just take what I need. Don't glue your hands together. All right, I'm gonna try that again. Um, uh, that's exactly what I need right there. See how tiny that is. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is just put that on the top, of that antenna spike. Just like that. And then throw that on there. That should help it just stay in place. That's all we're trying to do. There we go. That's tight enough that I don't need it on there. Okay. So, to hold that, what I am going to do is take this backpack strap, unhook it, and then I'm going to Gently. Come back around. All right, so there we go. Come on. Come on. Get some. All right. I'm going to tuck this back. Admin pouch. There we go. I can't see it. Uh, looks good. Woo! All right. Good job, me. Pat me on the back. Thank you very much. All right. Okay. So you can see in the ear. 
This one doesn't have an ear hole. This one does have an ear hole. Okay. And you can see that little plug right there. It's actually shaped and it's shaped to the ear. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to take this. Let's see. Should go in like that so it's shaped to the ear a little bit. And what I'm going to do can you see this in here? I'm going to push in with my tweezers. You don't want to scratch the paint on the head, so just be careful. But what I'm doing is taking, I'm just kind of pushing this into the ear, okay? There we go. That's how it's gonna look. Okay. So, let's go ahead and head on there. Okay, so lots of excess wire, and this thing has to go right here. You don't want to leave it like that. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to come down. Just like that. And I'm going to squeeze it. This actually has a wire in it, so it does. It is pliable and it does bend. And what I'm going to do is go down behind the chest trick. Bam! Look at that. It's looking good. Looking really good. Now, what I forgot to do, which I should have done. <laughs> I was wondering about that. <laughs> Not going to be displayed like that. I'm going to put the shemog on, and the shemog's going to go around the neck. <laughs> I have some of these bread ties, <clears throat> and these are wire. Okay. And I'm going to. Just put that wire in there like that. And then we are just going to roll. Roll that beautiful bean footage. A shemog or a sweat rag, however you want to say it. 
you can see I have that bread tie in there and what that allows me to do is twist it to shape around the neck. And you can see how it hides a bunch of that wire now, which is great. So, I'm just gonna come under here. I'm gonna grab a bunch of this excess and I'm just gonna pull it down. All I'm doing is hiding the excess behind the plate carrier. All right, now it's time for the hood. Let's see that bag on. You can see I'm just turning them just so I can look and make sure I got everything tucked in right. It's looking really good. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this strobe on the backpack. Nice if I had a table that wasn't slanted. Okay. He's looking good. Looking really good. And last but not least, we're gonna have him hold the rifle. So I'm gonna go ahead and just tuck this strobe right here that came with the helmet. Just so I don't lose it. I throw it in here. looking fantastic. Fantastic. Got a little bit tighter on there. Good. Okay. So a couple things. Rifle, a little bit loose here. So I'm actually going to twist that and I'm going to use a tiny glue dot on here just so it stabilizes. It isn't wanky, janky. Wanky, janky. Push that on. I'm gonna twist this castle knot. That should be give me a bit more sturdiness, which it does. Push the bipod up. Push the caps down. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out his hand. What we want to do is we want to bend the fingers to the rifle. Remember, safety first, so you don't want that finger on the trigger. There we 
bring out. I forgot he's uh, left-handed in the movie. <laughs> so we're gonna do the same thing, but on the right hand, or on the left hand, not the right hand. Dum dum dum. That's why I always check pictures. I knew you guys would have said something too. So I'd have been like, dude, he's holding in the wrong hand. I would've been like, dude, I meant to do that. I really didn't mean to do that. I just didn't look at the reference photos. So we're gonna go ahead and throw that on there. Same thing. All right. Pegs do swivel and they do move. I'm trying to get the right pose. And you can do whatever pose you want. Uh, so. I want him in kind of a relaxed stance, so. See if I can get it on the fork grip. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect. I'm just tightening up the arms a little bit. Fix the watch. I think we're almost done. Damn watch, damn it. <laughs> Doing the watch on on the figure is hard. So. <laughs> yeah. Normally I would not do the watch, but we're gonna do the watch just because I don't want you guys to go without the watch. So we're gonna put the watch back on. to glue dot the watch. And I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of glue dot. Soup's tiny. Now that watch band won't move.
Oh, bam. Look at that. That's exactly what I was thinking. So, there you go. There's your finish, fi finest polished product. <laughs> All right. Any excess parts, put in a little baggie and put it underneath the stand. Uh, tape it to underneath the stand, that way you don't lose this stuff. Um, but that right there is the final product of the Operation Red Wings Navy SEAL SDV Team 1 Corpsman Marky Mark or Marcus Luttrell figure from Damn Toys. If you like this video, make sure that you smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to be notified of new and extremely cool content. Like this guy. Thank you.